had some issues with uh, the original pack or one of my packs anyway where the connecting connections weren't very clever, it wasn't insulated and I had a breakout and this cell is now completely dead and um, needs to go in the recycling bin. Yeah, all my death batteries go to the recycling bin that I can't use. So they're not just fully nearly chucked, arbitrarily chucked in the bin, as I've mentioned in the past before. Here's the first part of the circuit. And um, the packs are wired up so that the ground on pack, uh, sorry, the ground on pack three, negative, is grounded. And it goes through the pack to the positive, then up to the common of a changeover pair of contacts on a relay. Through the normally closed pair of contacts, through a link to the next normally closed pair of contacts. Out through the common to the negative pack two. Back in on pack two positive, and then we have the link again up to the negative pack one, and the positive pack one goes back through power contacts, and you have 12.6 volts coming out because you've now put all the cells in series. Now, when it comes time to charge them. These contacts will all switch over, which will put <coughs> pack three will be fine because it's already at negative, so it's only the positive we want to switch there. But uh, on pack two and one, we want the negative to go to ground. So when the relay comes over, takes the negative to ground, the positive comes over to the charging point, which isolates the pack. And then each pack can be charged at 4.2 volts. And these contacts come over, put in pack 1, onto the charging, positive that is, and the negative down to ground. Again, changing the 12.6 volt series configuration into a 4.2 volt parallel configuration ready for charging.